Could you share your experience with us? Yeah, so I have been to China um, mm -hmm. a couple of times now. Mm -hmm. My very first experience was um, completely different for me because I have heard of stories about visiting um, inland China, mm -hmm. but um, I had only had experience with like Hong Kong and Shanghai previously for my trip. And this trip that I had taken, I was doing marketing and I was coming to meet some friends. We were going to Nimbao. And uh, being here from the Midwest in the United States, we have freedom of travel, we have freedom um, of religion, and, and we're free to, to have things whenever we travel. I didn't understand that whenever I went to China that it wasn't appropriate to have a Bible with me. And I'm always carrying my Bible with me anywhere I go because I'm a very faith-based person. And um, I just wanted that extra protection with me. And so when I went to China, I, um, I made it through to the security of the airport when I landed. And as soon as I landed, I was met in, by three security guards who walked me off of um, the terminal area right there. And they searched all of my bags, dumped out my suitcases in front of everybody, started throwing my things everywhere and started yelling at me. And they called me a missionary. And I'm like, what are you talking about? What happened? Like, what did I do? And they found my Bible and they said, no, you cannot have this. And they asked and they thought that I was there to be a Bible salesman or something. And so it was really scary. And I was like, oh, no, I like I didn't know. So my friend who I had um, came there to visit, uh, he he t informed me that you're not allowed to have Bibles in China and that the president declares it says that there is no God, that he is God. And I had never heard of anything like that, and I had never experienced where I felt like my religion or who I was was something to be afraid of. And it made me really sad to know that people live in a place where they can't express and feel gratitude and feel that they can talk to God wherever they are, or carry their book of, of their religion or their, their, um, their faith freely without feeling like they're going to be in trouble or they're going to have somebody come and arrest them. And so it was a, a very different experience for me, and I didn't last that long in China, I'll tell you that. I was uh, in and out about 13 hours. <laughs>